Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I have another unboxing video for you. And if you can see here, this time it's from Blue Force Gear. So this is going to be a two-part series because I ordered two different slings. But bottom line and the packaging, it also came with some stickers. As I've mentioned before, stickers are such a great marketing tool and they look cool because you can slap them on just about anything. Uh, so on top of the slings I ordered, I also ordered one of these uh, front receivers. So this will actually be mounted on your rail. And the reason I got this is because if I'm putting this on my MR556. So on um, I ordered a padded sling for that one. And I want it to be as quiet as possible. So I did not opt for the push swivel slings. So we can see here there's a nice holographic reflective blue logo from blue force gear and it's nice and shiny in the bottom and as you can see the logos are in there as well which is super cool so if we open up the box here we can take the sling out and it appears that this one is my m81 sling and this one i got in the standard one because this sling is actually going on my LWRC other. So as you can see here on the front and the end, you have your push swivel swing or push swivel mounts, which will make it a lot easier to quickly move on and off. If you've never used these before, these do generate a little bit of noise if you're moving to con move from your movement to contact. So that's it. And these are two point sling and this is custom. So I ordered it with the Tropical Multicam, and you can see there's a slight difference. It's a little more darker, less shades of black, more of the green. This is the pull tab to adjust the sling's length. And you have your, your threaded on tri-glides here. So this one is the M81 sling. This is the standard sling. This is also the Vickers Combat sling. I used these same ones in the Marine Corps. I believe they're still issued today. And the main reason I went for a two-point sling is so that when I transition from my rifle down to my sidearm, I can just pull this off to the side and then immediately draw my sidearm as I put away the rifle of the, the rifle. But here it is. Looks super awesome. Super excited to use this. Now for my other, I do have to mount this uh, rail kit so that I can put this on there. And I'll do an install video on that in the future as well. But thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And stay safe.